What's up you guys? Welcome back to my first vlog of the new year. <laughs> Took me long enough, but I'm back baby and I'm so excited to be doing regular vlogs for you guys again. So, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. If you missed my last video I posted, I just posted like a Q&A, a chatty Q&A, like life update kind of type kind of type thing. So, if you happen to have missed that, I'll put a card to it up here. But welcome back to the vlogs. So, today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday afternoon. I'm actually starting this vlog, but I already filmed a couple of clips earlier on in my day. So I guess I'll go ahead and put that in right now. Run the clip. Hi you guys. So I think I'm just gonna start off this vlog earlier than this moment, even though this is my first clip of the day. But I just finished up a workout. It was super hard today. Oh my God, it was fucking hard. Um, and then I came and stopped by Best Buy because I ordered a ring light for videos. It's so weird that I don't have a ring light. I feel like that's something that everybody that like does YouTube or photography or anyone has that I just don't have one. And I was thinking about it the other night. So I finally ordered a ring light and I just picked it up from Best Buy like curbside pickup, which was pretty chill. They just brought it out to my car. And now I'm gonna head home. I'm super hungry because I haven't eaten yet today because I kind of woke up, took Squirtle out, went to my workout. So I'm like starving. There's a Panera right by me and I'm like really, really, really tempted to go. And I think I might do it. It's really rainy out, but Best Buy. I like never shop here, so it was quite random, but curbside pickup, baby. I'm home and I'm so excited. I'm so starving right now. So I'm just filming a quick clip. But I got the U-Pick too. I honestly probably haven't had Panera in like over a year. I don't get it that much, but I was just right there and it sounded so good. So I got the half sandwich with the Chipotle chicken avocado sandwich. And then I got the tomato soup. And I'm so happy that it came with extra bread. I'm gonna probably just finish this Emma Chamberlain video eat my lunch. So that's what I've been up to today so far. I just took a body shower. I didn't wash my hair because I got my hair colored yesterday and I like to wait, you know, around like 48 hours ish before washing my hair after I get it colored. So I just did a nice body shower. I need to actually get a, a shower cap that's on my shopping list for the future because I actually don't have one. And sometimes you do just need like a body shower and it's hard to not get the hair wet even if it's like up in a bun. Random side thought, but it is 4 p.m. I'm finishing off a little coffee and I might have more because I'm still pretty tired. It's just such a like gloomy, rainy day. I'm kind of doing random stuff today. Like I got home, I took my shower and then I have to go in the next couple of days and get a replacement windshield wiper for my car. Because last week I got a car wash and half of my driver's side windshield wiper flung off in the car wash, which was... That's never happened to me before, but it was absurd. And it rained today and it was heavily like noticeable and not good. It's one of those things that I need to fix like pretty ASAP. So I've been calling around um, the Audi place and then some service places because I have to like go pick up the part and then I have to go, you know, get someone to put it on. So that's something that I have to do in the next couple days. Hopefully I'll be able to get that fixed. I ended up calling the car wash place back and they actually said that they would reimburse me for the cost of the new part, which was really nice. So that's a random little thing that I'm just dealing with with my car. I actually haven't had to do any like repairs or parts knock on wood so far since I got my car about a year and a half ago. Anyway, I've been talking about that for a long enough time. But in other news, you guys, I'm going to go down to the office, which is my new sanctuary. The office, I've just started working in it for the new year and it is such a good space. I'm going to do some editing of the video I filmed yesterday. And then I also, I need to look through my taxes stuff because I have to pay my quarter four taxes from last year. Okay, the first thing that I do to set my workspace just as a cozy, chill space is light my candle. This is the home office scented candle from the brand Homesick, which is one of my favorite candle brands because they last so long. The burn time is like 80 hours, which is pretty crazy. And, and of course, since this is my home office, we had to try out the home office scent. Hi, Boo Boo, you wanna come in the office? Can you come in your bed? This is Squirtle's office bed 
for right now. This is where it is right now. Come in here. He doesn't love it that much. <laughs> I think he's afraid of like this part of it, like the big kind of like, it makes a little bit of noise, but he does, he will go in there if I put the blanket in and just kind of lie. Go in here. Show the vlog how you can go in your new bed. Yeah. Yes. He's just like, you can tell he's like a little unsure about it. <laughs> what if we put this amazing blanket on you you can get really warm and cozy under there so if you guys happen to have missed the vlogmas where i showed some updates and progress to the home office i'll just show it really quickly because a few things actually have changed since that video but i have the desk over here and it's now been pushed up against the wall but i kind of liked it actually a little better when it was like a foot away from the wall so i think i might move it back actually it just feels like a little bit like shoved into this corner um and then i did go ahead and get rid of the other rug that was in here but i've maneuvered some of my plants and i have my little work zone over here i actually ordered hi <laughs> squirtle i actually ordered a blush pink love seat that's gonna probably take up like most of this wall but i think the plant will still be able to fit in the corner because i didn't want to get something that takes up like the entire wall i'm really excited to see that in the space i think it'll be here in about a week and i'll put the pillow up there and then i'll probably move squirtle's bed either like over here by the window or over here or something like that and then right now this is just how i have like the little acrylic desk i ended up moving it from over here into over here and i think i like this better um i have a plant this one still needs to be hung up i kind of want to hang it like right here to add some greenery over here but anyway i'm just gonna sit here and do some editing for probably the next two or three hours and then do some emails and work stuff like that all right guys it is 6 36 p.m and i just started exporting my q a it took me i guess when did i start editing around four or something so a little over two hours two and a half hours it was a bit of a long video it's like 26 minutes long so really actually missed editing on my bigger desktop computer that i haven't used in so long i was always editing on my laptop upstairs but this is actually so much nicer because it's bigger so it gives me like more just room it's just nicer to edit on and i have my whole little workspace here i need to like figure out what's going on in the mouse pad world 2021 because i don't know shit. i'm using this freaking pad of paper my lamp is lighting me up uh, I'm gonna go have some dinner. I think I might make like a really easy stir fry or something. I wanna do something easy, but I wanna do something like pretty healthy. So I'm feeling like that would be good. I haven't made a stir fry in a really long time and I have like some veggies and maybe some chicken and noodles that I can use. Back to the kitchen for some chefing. All right, guys, I am eating a snack because I got so hungry. Do you guys ever eat a snack before you start cooking? Because I'm kind of a slow cooker, and sometimes I'm just so starving when I start cooking that I'm like, I've just got to eat a little something to, like, hold me over until dinner's ready. So I'm having some of my favorite little everything crackers from Trader Joe's and some hummus. This one is a new one I've been trying. It is the... Um, the hummus guy which is an organic hummus i like it it is the roasted garlic and chives which is pretty good i usually get i usually just get i think the red roasted red pepper one but i've been liking trying that one so i'm having a little snack i'm probably gonna put on a record and pour a glass of wine that's what i like to do to set the mood for my cooking i got my video pretty much done but i just have to do the thumbnail and i'm gonna publish it tomorrow because i figured it's kind of a little bit late and i mean it's not late but but i do think it's just better to publish my videos like during the afternoon as opposed to later at night when more people would be like asleep anyway i'm gonna make pad thai um i'll show you guys the recipe that i found i'm so excited i haven't made pad thai in so long probably like a year honestly i had mostly everything i had like 92 percent of the ingredients so we're gonna improvise a little bit and make it look how gorgeous this image is truly sending me tonight so i'm using a recipe from the website called taste better from scratch Dot com but basically i just googled pad thai and this one had the best reviews and that's how i usually find my recipes based off of the pictures and the reviews the only things i don't have that it calls for are bean sprouts i don't have any cilantro and i don't have fish sauce but i have everything else so i think it's still gonna be fine so i have eggs the sauce has a lot of stuff like peanut butter actually doesn't call for sesame oil but i might use that and i might just add that soy sauce rice vinegar sriracha the actual noodles 
um, some peanuts, he like crushed them on the top, some oil. I'm gonna do chicken, you could like leave it out or whatever. I'm just gonna add a little bit of chicken because I have some. Garlic, a red pepper. It doesn't call for snow peas, but snow peas are good in stir fries, so I'll probably add just a little bit because I don't have much green onion. My green onion is kind of like dying, it's really on its last. And then some limes to add to the top. I'm so excited to get into my cooking zone, so I'm gonna turn on a record. I'm also gonna go change out of these pants into some comfier sweatpants, so. my veggies, my garlic, my sugar, snap peas, or my snow peas, and my red pepper. my sauce and I think it's gonna be really good I didn't know it had five tablespoons of brown sugar but I think it's gonna be delicious okay everything is prepped now that's going in the pan initially so we have the chicken the garlic the snow peas which I added and the bell pepper my noodles are done the only thing is these noodles I've had them for a while and they've started to like break up so they didn't really stay long noodles which is unfortunate but you know Hopefully it'll taste the same, even though they kind of broke into little tiny noodle pieces. We're heating up the oil and I'm gonna add everything to my medium high, look at my freaking nails. This is so tragic. We're gonna add everything to our pan and get stir frying. Blessing play bed in the daytime Goosebumps rise at night And settle back down at sunrise I could have made it better is if the noodles didn't get super tiny and broken up but i'm loving the presentation otherwise so excited to try her I'm very proud of myself tonight things got a little crazy at the end so i had to kind of stop filming but i still have a bunch of leftovers this is what she looked like at the end and then i just added some more peanuts and green onions to the top and some limes mm. Good morning, look at this gorgeous meal. We have a nice everything bagel with some plain cream cheese. And then I like to do, sometimes switch it up and do some tomatoes. Then I did a little bit of tomato on top with some Trader Joe's onion salt and some cracked black pepper. Mm. Elevate your bagel game in 2021, guys. I just got out of the shower, as you can tell, by my super wet hair. And I'm just in some really chill clothes, my little set. I'm starting off the vlog a little bit later today. Jared actually ended up coming over last night and he slept over. We just had some quality time together. I stayed up really late watching The Bachelor and Love Island. Now I'm here with my other man. I am going to drive to pick up um, my windshield wipers from the Audi dealership. I was able to talk to them on the phone today. Is it rude to show up somewhere with just like 
freshly showered wet hair it's like i'm clean but my hair is wet i don't know is that a rude thing i always feel i always feel a little bit weird about it but then i still just do it because i don't dry my hair so i will just like go out with wet hair i mean obviously it's gonna dry but i overthink it do you guys go out with wet hair or like would you never comment down below <laughs> so this is my broken wiper right here and basically <laughs> half of it just flung off like i said and this is my other one which is normal and it has <laughs> this whole part attached that actually wipes the rain away so we're gonna go hopefully and get this all fixed guys what that was so easy and like iconic i thought it was gonna be like 200 dollars to fix the friggin wiper because whenever i first talked to someone like yesterday the guy said it was gonna be like a hundred dollars for the wipers and then a hundred dollars to put them on and then i come here and i had to replace the whole set because it didn't sell like just the part it was only 66 dollars including tax and then i honestly think they're supposed to charge you to like put them on and this iconic man i don't even think he was wearing a name tag a fucking legend that works here which is like i'll just go put them on for you really quick it's so quick so easy and he's like is this that, that car right there and i was like yeah it took him like a minute and he put them on for me like legend i should have asked for his name he was an icon and yeah that wasn't even that really wasn't even bad and it was so quick so i'm really happy that i got that figured out and like i said i'm gonna get this reimbursed by the car wash place because they felt bad about it so basically free i just had to spend the time to get that fixed okay now let's just do a test to see if i clean do my cleaning or that wasn't it the cleaning of the wipers guys look they work again yay new windshield wipers there's the panera i went to yesterday by the way what a great day kind of like really pretty out right now golden hour baby winter golden hour okay i'm home i'm back in the office i just lit my candle up as i do and i'm playing evermore i just vacuumed out here and i moved this rug under this bench that was in the office before because i didn't really know where else to put it obviously like a runner would go better here but i don't think it's really worth like getting a whole new rug if i already have this one and i don't have anywhere to put it and it actually ended up fitting under the bench pretty good with my shoes so all i really have in my entryway i guess i don't like show this part of my house this much but here's my stairs and then like you walk in the front door i have a plant right here which at some point might move into the office but i like it here because there's like a window and it kind of just keeps something in this empty corner and then i have this little shelf thing that is from urban outfitters i just have a little picture up there and a couple things hanging off but i try not to keep this area too cluttered i just have like a couple things and some sunglasses and i keep like my keys and stuff like that and then we have the little hallway which leads to closet bathroom and my garage door so there's really not much room for much stuff in here so i try to keep it pretty minimal with just a bench to put on my shoes before i head out the door my shoes and there wasn't a rug here before but i do think it looks better than like nothing being here so i'm happy with it squirtle you like that squirtle likes it hello you guys it is probably a little bit late now 10 30 i didn't even realize what time it was i've kind of just been on my computer for a while i was downstairs doing some work and some planning and some stuff on the computer for a while and then i came back up here i had some leftover pad tie from last night as you guys saw i watched the new episode of this is us and i've just been on my laptop I'm kind of looking at new rugs and couches. I'm making some changes to my home decor, um, the living room, the office, things like that, and just kind of want to get the place, the house actually like what I want it to be. I've lived here for like a year and a half and I still haven't done a house tour. And there's just some things that I want to like change and elevate specifically in at least like the living room. I've been looking at rugs for like two hours. <laughs> Anyway, I know I didn't film too much today. Today was just, you know, kind of a chill. Not, it wasn't a super productive day. Definitely did some stuff, but could have done more. I definitely want to get a lot more stuff done tomorrow. So I think I'm just going to have kind of a chill early night. Probably go upstairs and do some laundry and stuff in my room. And then pick up the vlog tomorrow because I'm just feeling like I don't have anything to vlog. And I'm sitting here lollygagging looking at rugs. So um, I think I'll pick up the vlog tomorrow and talk to you guys then.
randomly just spent the first like two hours of today changing up my living room, switching things out, moving things around and getting things kind of a little more organized in here after the holidays and excitedly preparing for the new stuff that I have coming in at the end of the month, the new carpet and the new couch that I think I told you guys, if I didn't tell you I ordered those last night, I might have stopped vlogging before that, but I ordered a new couch and a new rug for the living room last night which is something that i've been putting off because couches are really expensive but i really like the one i picked out i feel like it was time to just bite the bullet and spend the money on a couch and i can probably sell the couch i have for a little bit of money too so this was not on my to-do list for today but i feel like it needed to be done the place was just a mess so we needed it so it doesn't look too different but i did make a few changes to things so i vacuumed off the couch and i took the santa blanket off and i brought this throw blanket back and then i set up my pillows that like are not the christmas pillows squirtle's enjoying it so far and then this might look new to you guys but <laughs> i have had this wooden part it was my old table like my old T dining table that we just took the legs off and I was gonna repurpose it into like a desk or something and it's been sitting in my garage just this like top slab of wood for like over a year now and last night I had an epiphany I was like wait I feel like it's the same size as like the top of my white coffee table that I'm pretty much over and I wanted and I want to like upgrade and so I just placed it on here last night and I think it ended up looking so good and it's gonna look really nice i think once i get like the new carpet there's just so much gray in here that it was never really intentional for me to have a gray couch and a gray rug this is just what i put on the coffee table for now let me know if you guys have any ideas i might like want to just move the coffee tables books into the center and get rid of the roses but the table was kind of big so i just decided to put both on but let me know what you guys think i also made some changes to this side of the room and the area the first thing that i did sorry the lights coming in really bright right now was i moved around a couple plants i put this one here i brought in this thing which was actually outside on my balcony because i'm not really using my balcony now that it's winter but this little wooden thing is so cute and i thought i could just use it for one of my plants inside um, and then move it back on the balcony once it gets nicer out again we have my fiddly fig going strong over there she's grown so 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 much it's almost as tall as jared which is insane like he stood by it the other day and we were like wait the plan is literally almost as tall as you when i first got my fiddly fig it was like about three feet tall and i actually just ordered it from amazon i think like two and a half years ago and she has been killing it just loves being in the corner by this window a lot of you guys were commenting in my last video on how cute the fiddly fig looked in the background so she says thank you you gotta just be nice to your plants and give them compliments and tell them that they're gorgeous but back to the living room i made some changes as you may or may not be able to tell because i feel like i haven't shown the living room since in a while i moved this plant over here by the window this is my um what is this called bird of paradise plant and it also i only got this one year ago you guys this plant when i first got it was so tiny it was so short in the past year it has gone crazy so she's recently been repotted so she's starring tonight another thing i brought in from my balcony was this little um candle lantern thingy that was just sitting out there and getting like no use and it's super pretty so i moved it inside i gotta get a little tea light to go in there but i love this thing this is just from target i cleared off this thing because it was very cluttered and just didn't really make sense and i'm gonna get a new media console that's like next on my list for updating the living room but i have to find which one i want first and i'm not in like a rush to get it but this one was like a hundred dollars from wayfair and i don't really think it like goes with the decor that i'm looking to do anymore i actually haven't shown this at all i recently got this fluffy bean bag for the living room just because the only seating i have in here is the couch and sometimes i want extra seating for people so they don't have to like sit on the floor when they come over and this bean bag is so fluffy and cute it's from pottery barn i'll link it down below if i can find it online for you guys i felt like the corner needed some greenery so i moved my snake plant into this basket so that's what i've been up to for at least the past two hours but i'm feeling a lot better about the state of the living room anyway guys i need to get to work i need to actually be productive on some podcast stuff today that i didn't do yesterday so i'm gonna go down to the office i think i need to make some food too i made the smoothie but i'm like i need more food okay i made a late lunch of a 
grilled cheese and heated up some tomato soup. Is anybody surprised? This is like what I eat all the time, <laughs> especially in the vlogs. I need this right now. And I'm just gonna take this down to the office and do some work on my computer. I haven't talked to you in a few hours because I got a little bit rushed, but I basically just met up with one of my friends, M, for dinner and I just got back. And I didn't really give myself time to film beforehand when I was getting ready or whatever because I just didn't give myself that much time to get ready. But we just went to this local place called The Wilder. They have really good pizza and oh, so good. They have good drinks. The pizza, good everything. It's a good spot if you're ever in Boise or you live in Boise. I hadn't been there in like two years and I forgot about how good it was. So we just met up there. Sorry, I didn't vlog. I didn't even really remember to bring my camera. I need to go in my kitchen and finish some dishes that I didn't get to earlier today. Tidy up the kitchen. I'll probably just chillax on the couch for the rest of the night. Good morning, you guys. I'm starting the vlog on my phone because I'm in the car and you guys know the drill. I forgot to ring my camera. It's Friday. It's actually not morning. It's afternoon. I just finished um, an Orange Theory class. It was really good, really hard as usual. I feel like I've been trying to push myself more and it's been really good. I'm currently in line at the Starbucks drive through You can't really tell, but I am. Um, I didn't even know there was this one that's right by Orange Theory. I've always been going to this other one that's like, I guess, kind of on my way home, but this one's literally like... 30 second drive from orange theory bitch i need some caffeine and some food i haven't had anything today because i got an in body like scan weigh in thing today at at my workout because i'm doing the transformation challenge which is like orange theory's new you know new year challenge thing it starts on monday and you weigh in before and then you weigh in at the end so i will definitely share my results with you guys as i like go along i feel like i'm not comfortable with like sharing my before weight but definitely towards the end of the challenge and the end i'll tell you guys how it goes for me i believe the challenge is that you do three classes minimum a week for six of the eight weeks of the challenge and that's basically the whole challenge so it's nothing like super crazy because i'm already pretty much trying to do like two classes a week but now i'll just be doing three so like one more or if i want to i can do more than that because now i have unlimited classes i upgraded my membership i'm gonna get a dirty chai i'm like haven't had that in a while and i'm really excited about that so um, i'm gonna do that i'm listening to some scissor I'm gonna head home hello guys i am back home it is oh my gosh no this is a lie it can't be 352 that has to be a lie Damn it. I was FaceTime with Megan for like over an hour and a half. Is anyone surprised? We hadn't caught up. Literally, I hadn't FaceTimed her since she told me she got engaged. So we're talking like December 23rd. It had literally been almost a month since we FaceTimed, which is really weird. Usually we talk like at least I would say every two weeks on the phone or on FaceTime. I feel like every two, maybe three weeks in between, just like we usually text and message on Instagram like every day. So we had a lot to catch up on, but I'm gonna go upstairs and take a shower and I can't believe it's already 3.52, fuck. I don't realize, I don't know how that happened so fast. And then I actually have a pretty big mail haul for today. Got like four packages in the mail today, including my desk chair. All right guys, I'm finally showered and I'm in some dark clothes while my fake tan dries. I just walked Squirtle and now it's time for a little mail haul. Someone's very curious about what came in that box. Okay, well, starting off with the exciting, my office chair is here, and it looks really cute. I ended up getting a light blush, Squirtle. <laughs> I ended up getting a light blush pink color. Um, I was deciding between this and a champagne, but I feel like there's already so many tans and neutrals in there that it would be good to have a little pop. We'll have to see how everything comes together for sure in there. And the dirty chai is hitting different today. Squirtle's enjoying his, I think he's just finishing up his first meal of the day. Sometimes he leaves like half of it. But you guys, it's the happiest day of the month, AKA when my new, newly order comes in. I think for like the new year, newly gave everybody, at least me, and I'm probably pretty sure they probably gave it to everyone that subscribes, two free bonus items in my next box, which was so exciting because usually you get six. 
and then now I got to pick out eight this month and two of them were just for free. That's why I love Newly. Like, I really do appreciate a brand that cares about their customers and makes the effort to like go above and beyond for the customers that are repeat repeat customers. Seriously, I can't even explain how excited I get to open my bag, my reusable Newly bag every single month. Okay, where do we start? Let's start with, yes, I ordered cow print pants, you guys. I saw these on the website and I said, giddy up yeehaw, I'm putting on my hat and boots and I'm riding down to wherever I'm gonna wear these. I really, really hope these fit because I read in the reviews that they, um ran small so i got like one size up from my normal size i do think this part looks a little bit small but i feel like the rest of the pant looks like it's gonna fit so i'm really really hoping even if they're tight that they will look good and you look at like the back pockets okay i'm i'm absolutely obsessed and guys these are a freaking 159 dollars value and that's why i fucking love renting clothing because i pay 88 dollars a month for my newly box for six items this month i got eight it literally breaks out to like 10 or 11 dollars per item if i have eight and that's why i freaking love renting clothing services truly you guys know i'm not sponsored by newly or anything i am manifesting a newly sponsorship this year honestly i need to just reach out to them because maybe they'd like respond and want to talk to me i've never even really like attempted to hit them up i wish it was like festival season so i could have an excuse to wear these absurd pants but boise winter time y'all will be seeing me in this crazy ass shit yeehaw okay next i got another pair of pants i got a lot of fun pants in this box this month i was inspired because i've been really bored by my pants selection lately and just kind of wearing the same things so next i got these are super cute look at this crazy color i don't even know is this like a chartreuse is this what the people call chartreuse these are a corduroy really soft high-waisted pant 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 from the brand joa i got a medium and these look like a really good size for me so okay next i got i actually forgot about this um what is this okay i guess it comes with a little that's kind of random it comes with a tank top to go under it because i didn't order that separately so that must be under this because it's like a mesh i completely forgot that i ordered this this is actually kind of random i typically wouldn't go for a piece like this so i hope it looks good on it's a little free people mesh um turtleneck and i guess you just wear the cami under it so we'll try that on that is a spring look i'm kind of rushing spring apparently with some of the <laughs> color selections that I have in here. I like the sleeves. They're like almost a balloon sleeve. I can't wait to try this on. I think this is gonna be so pretty just tucked into a nice pair of jeans. So really shouted about her. Okay, these completely, completely captured my heart. But look at these, you guys. These are a patchwork high-waisted jean from BDG Urban Outfitters. Okay, next we have another sweater. This one I feel like is gonna look really pretty on. It's not something I would normally kind of reach for and go for with the color palette here, but I really like it and felt like it was fun. I didn't know that I got two kind of like stripey sweaters. <laughs> this is, oh, this is also from Urban Outfitters and I got a large. I don't remember getting a large, but I always read the reviews um and read if people say you should size down or size up if something runs small so that's a really good part of renting services too is that you can read like how it fits other people okay this was fun and something that was also kind of like not outside my comfort zone but just like a little bit random because it's lined with this like orange color which is actually a little bit i don't really wear orange much but i do love a cheetah print i guess i'm getting in all my winter comfy cozies well i can this is my last thing i honestly completely forgot that i selected this piece but usually i do try to get at least one jacket in my box when it's the winter time so i can kind of switch up my outerwear is like a brown corduroy jacket from the brand nice things and it has like a teddy inside and i just thought it was nice usually the jackets i go for are black or like darker colored or gray and and this one's nice because it's a brown okay i have three more packages it was a day for the mail i haven't actually gotten any packages in the mail in quite a while i haven't been ordering stuff online and then this week 
she went crazy y'all does anyone else go through phases with ordering stuff online where you like won't be and then one night you order from like four places so that's kind of my energy with online shopping this is a little package a little surprise from wine wicks candles which i'm just gonna say right now one of my absolute new favorite candle companies to support they wrote me a little letter it says lindsay survival kit 2021 this is really sweet they wrote me a handwritten note just thanking me for giving them new customers and they said this is our launch of our 2021 candle of the year which is called afterglow it launches today and the meaning of afterglow is a pleasant effect or feeling that lingers after something is done experienced or achieved and i didn't even know this they have biodegradable peanuts that they ship in which is really nice to know because i probably would have just thought that these had to be tossed so shout out to a biodegradable peanut <laughs> what am i even saying you guys i needed some new candles i've really burned through almost everything oh my god this isn't even the afterglow one this is bliss look so good in your space they're like so good for decor that i almost don't even want to light them but i have to light them because they're freaking amazing here she is the 2021 scent of the year afterglow let's give her a sniff oh she's mild she's kind of okay it's giving me like chill mahogany teakwood from bath and body works energy like it's kind of like that but on a more mellow scale thank you so much to wine wicks candles i am so so excited to be sharing their sustainable small business i'll link their website down below you guys have to go check it out they have so many scents and they use repurposed wine bottles for their candle packaging which is so freaking cool and they also sent me a couple other things i got a natural bath and shower poof they also sent me some masks and some little sustainable reusable muslin cloths so thank you so much to wine wicks and then i got my monthly package from grove collaborative um i think i've opened these with you guys before but usually i just order like some essentials or like body um house cleaning products they have all kinds of stuff like that if you guys have never heard of it they're a more sustainable brand they ship completely plastic free they also have a really good welcome offer it's usually like a free five piece gift or some sort of a gift so i'll put a picture on the screen of whatever their current welcome offer is and i'll link the invite down in the description box if you guys want to go check the website out this month i got um, these are my intimate wipes that I started using they're just from the brand Natra Care. Pretty self-explanatory, just use them on my coochie. You know, I'm in a relationship now, I use some intimate wipes. Okay, I also got some organic cotton swabs because I was running low. And then I got two sets of tea lights. I really actually need these. I have a bunch of lanterns and like little lights around my house now that I need to put little tea lights in. So they have 100% soy tea lights, which is great. So we stocked up on some of those. And the only other thing I got, toilet cleaner, because I'm trying to go the natural, sustainable, not plastic route for my toilet cleaner. But honestly, it doesn't work as good as this one. So I've had this one in the past. It's just from the brand Method. And I figure I only have to literally buy this bottle probably like once a year. I don't use a ton of this all the time. I need like a powerful toilet cleaner. I'm just anal about my toilet cleaning. Got a shower cap from Eco Tools for pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Taking showers, body showers when you don't want to wet your hair. I feel like it's insane that I didn't have a shower cap. Also got some Tide to go because <laughs> I have been staining everything everything i own lately i don't know what's going on the past few months two or three months uh, every time i eat i stay in my shirt it's like so embarrassing i used up all my tide to go that i already had so i got a new pack that has three we'll put one of them in my purse one in the house save one for when i run out again as i'm sure that i will and then i got oh no these leaked in the box give it it's kind of really gonna be a messy cleanup okay <laughs> the last thing i got was some epsom salt because i was out just needed to show you that this is the remnants of doing a mail haul we're just gonna um go down to the office and deal with this later because i don't really want to clean this up right now
All right, you guys, we have all of the drinks, the snacks, the candle burning, the outline for my podcast going. I always outline every episode before I record. I feel like that's normal, but I never really show it. But season two of my podcast, Unfiltered, is starting on Monday, which I feel like you guys will see this like right before then or around then. I won't lie, I've been getting a little bit distracted. Um, <laughs> I've been having a hard time focusing lately. Usually I have to, like I have it right now, I have to put my phone in the desk drawer and turn it on do not disturb sometimes i don't even bring my phone down here when i'm working but i did need it for some instagram stuff for the podcast i did some polls and was like recording the results to make updates and changes for season two it is already you guys 7 30. I don't know where the day has gone. Actually, I do. <laughs> um, the days are just going by fast and every single day I say this, but I'm like, I need to wake up earlier, but will I ever do it? You know, maybe, but I'm pretty hungry. I ate like right when I got home from my workout and I haven't eaten since then other than these little peppermint chocolates. <laughs> I brought down a little snack. So I'm gonna go upstairs, figure out something easy for dinner i don't know what i want i don't really need these on anymore i do wear these like occasionally when i remember the blue light glasses i don't like always wear them when i work but if i'm on the computer for like, multiple hours and i remember to put them on i think it's good to like wear them i guess i mean if i have them i might as well wear them right i made my signature breakfast <laughs> yes it's breakfast for dinner breakfast at 8 p.m meal for one i don't really know what i want to make i'm pretty much always craving this basically i just do a soft scrambled egg this time i put in red peppers and then i do like half of an avocado two favorite seasonings of the moment red pepper flakes and trader joe's onion salt i put that on everything except the toast i just put butter on the piece of toast and honestly kind of got the perfect toast for me tonight i'm feeling really good about her and then i just do a little bit of lettuce chopped really thin with some avocado oil sriracha and onion salt as well i think it's really good and it's pretty healthy too but good for when you're craving i don't know i feel like it's good for when i'm craving multiple things because i can get like avocado a little protein a little grain we love a breakfast for dinner we're having a change of plans um it's very echoey in here i just listened back to recording on the microphone in this room very echoey so i'm actually not gonna do the podcast in here which is fine it's not really a big deal i'm just gonna go do it at my normal spot upstairs at the kitchen table so bye office if you know you know m&ms and popcorn finished recording the podcast i made an extra cushion on the chair that i haven't removed yet and i'm about to find a movie to watch i don't know what i'm gonna watch yet but i pop popcorn so that means i have to watch a movie and it's been a really good day i'm gonna pick up the vlog tomorrow what's up you guys it's saturday now how many days have i been vlogging i think this is like day five this will probably be the last day of this vlog because probably have a good amount of footage so far i'm wearing two new pieces from my newly box this sweater and then i tucked it into these pants it's a lot of color but i think it works exciting news i woke up to the package being delivered the love seat package being delivered early it really came early I, I ordered that love seat and the chair on monday the chair got here yesterday on friday and the love seat arrived saturday so damn i got from i think wayfair and overstock so i'm gonna have a little smoothie or something and then go downstairs and set up the love seat and set up the new chair in the office and see how it all looks i'm actually excited that it ended up arriving today and i'm still vlogging and i can like put it together and show you guys what it's looking like down there i'm excited to have a pretty productive day there's a lot that i need to do today before like tomorrow and the next day i want to be free to hang out with jared all right, let's do it. She's here and she's large. I have my smoothie. I have some Spotify pulled up on the desktop. I need desperately to stop listening to the same shit. So I'm digging into playlists that Spotify has made for me. And this one's called Time Capsule. Although I pretty much already know all these songs. That's kind of like random throwback songs. But I'm just so lacking in music right now. Seriously, you guys, I've been listening to like the same stuff and I just need new albums, new music from my people.
Okay, you guys, that was pretty easy putting the legs on. That was really the only assembly that I needed to do and it wasn't that difficult. So now I'm gonna set you guys up and flip over the love seat. Okay, guys, let's do this. Carefully, darling. And then I gotta, oof. I need to put some little, those furniture things on the bottom of these legs, but. In the meantime, oh my gosh, yeah, baby. Guys, I seriously think it looks so freaking good on this wall. It's like the perfect size love seat. I feel like this room needed this piece. And of course, you guys, we have the iconic pillow that I have not had a use for in here yet. Um, that Marissa picked out for me. This is from Home Goods, by the way. Pretty much the entire office, I'm not even kidding, is like 95% from Home Goods. If you're wondering where anything in here is ever from, are we ready to really make her cozy? <gasps> Guys. Or maybe she should go over here, I don't know. Where should the pillow go? Should it go in the middle? I feel like I like over here for right now. I actually really like this plant that still is able to fit over in the corner here. This thing turned out nice. I got this for like, I think 350-ish, $300 on overstock. It's definitely not like that big. You know, it's a tiny love seat for like an office. I definitely wouldn't like sleep on this or anything. But I think it's so perfect for like Squirtle to sit on while he's in here with me. And just to really add a nice little pop to this wall. I'm, wow, I'm excited. So now I need to decide what I want to do up here because all I have on this wall is this little mirror and it's definitely not big enough or much or enough for this wall. So this is what I was thinking. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I was thinking of doing two small like wood floating shelves on either side of the mirror and decorating those with some cute knickknacks and keeping the mirror in the middle. I'm itching to like want to put a rug here. It feels a little bit empty, but then I do already have the rug under the desk over here. So I'm not really sure. Hi, boo boo. <laughs> now I have to reorganize some stuff because I just moved everything that was on this wall over to here. I'll probably end up putting a squirrel's bed just in the middle where this plant is right here on this wall. I'm gonna take the old chair out of here, bring the new chair in, set that up, move some stuff around to make it less cluttered over here. <laughs> about to start on the chair i lined everything up but i'm about to start putting that together but i got so freaking starving so i'm having an intermission i just heated up some rice chicken and then i threw in some soyaki sauce red pepper and a fried egg on top so basically some chicken fried rice with a little egg on top Ooh, gonna be so good all right guys i am officially in the new desk chair my head's kind of cut off from this angle. I need you guys to be like two inches higher. Also, if you can hear the space heater going, I don't know if you can, but yes, she is going. The chair was pretty easy to put together and I like it. I think it's comfy. I think it looks good in space. I'll have to show you guys the gold legs when I'm at a different angle, but I'm being extra right now with my two computers. I don't even need this one, but um, so I had to record the podcast on my laptop upstairs last night. So I'm gonna edit the podcast. It'll probably take me, I'm thinking around two hours, Two and a half hours, usually it takes me double the time that is the length of an episode. So I recorded for an hour and 10 minutes, so it'll probably take around two and a half hours. The chair is comfier than what I had in here before because that wasn't really a desk chair, that was like a dining chair. So I see how it feels sitting in it for like two, three hours working and see if it's still comfy, but I'm liking it so far. All right, guys, I'm officially done editing the podcast. It took me about two hours, which was a little bit less than I thought it was going to, so that was good. Um, and now I'm doing some cleaning. Everything, I feel like, in my house has been a disaster. I haven't had, like, a clean entire house. Like, either this area has been clean or really upstairs has not been clean since I got back 
from the holidays and it's been something that I've been putting off. <laughs> so I'm doing some vacuuming, I'm gonna do some dishes, I'm gonna go upstairs and do all of my laundry. If anyone needed confirmation why this, my Dyson, is my best purchase of the last year. I just vacuumed only one set of my stairs. So I have two sets of stairs. I just vacuumed one of them and this I emptied out before I vacuumed. I completely emptied it out and this is what comes out of my carpets. I have no idea what this shit is, but it's nasty. For this thing, a bitch was low key living in filth. I don't even know what is all in there. I just know every time I look at it, I'm shocked and appalled. All right, you guys, I have been editing this vlog for legitimately almost five hours now. I don't know why it was such a long one, but this vlog was freaking long. So this is the outro clip. And can we just have a moment for this cute ass little background with the plants the office the office is truly such a vibe and i did get some floating shelves to go here that will probably be up by the next time i vlog if you guys enjoyed this vlog and you made it until the end let me know by giving this vlog a thumbs up but thank you guys so much for watching if you want more videos than what i post on youtube i post weekly videos and juicy secret videos on my patreon which is patreon.com slash lindsay hughes it's always linked at the top of the description box if you ever want to check it out and support me and get extra juicy content all the time and check out the description box because i did like link some stuff that i talked about I, I linked the love seat and the bean bag chair so you can check out that stuff down below and i will see you guys very soon in another video bye guys